Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm doing something a bit different. This is actually a collaboration tumbler tutorial. Now, the owner of Duncan Custom Airbrush reached out to a bunch of amazing tumbler artists such as The Purple Stitch, Mr. Nola's Glitter, Miss Kiss Creations, and The Flynn Sisters Boutique. So he sent us all one of his decals that he made up himself. Once you watch his video, you'll see. Make sure you subscribe to everybody's channels that I mentioned so that way you can see what they create with their decal and their own power wash method. All right, let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and start out with the decal or the leopard print decal uh, that I use to accentuate my lip drip there. <laughs> I got this decal from Wild Creations by Gabby off of Etsy. I sized those to six and a half to almost three inches and I duplicated it and they were the perfect size to go along with that decal. Final that I use is from Arteza. It is called Funky Orange. And it just went along really well because that those lips are have orange and pink in there. And I just thought it went really well with what I want to do. Now, as you can see, I used a 30 ounce skinny tumbler that I purchased through the Stainless Steampoke Company. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll make sure to put everything into the description below so that way you guys can order as well. Now, I did sand this tumbler and I did prime it black and I let it sit overnight just to make sure that my paint was fully cured before I moved on to the next step. Now this tumbler happens to be a screw top lid so I want to make sure to put my lid on. I, ha I have extra lids that I keep on my table just for this. I put my lid on just so I know where the front is. Now I'm just going to take that beautiful decal and again you can get that through duncancustomairbrush.com. Check him out, get that decal. He shows you how to customize them too if you want them different colors, I, I do believe. I think he just came out with a video for that. So I'm just going to center that up along with my cap here. As you can see with the tab open, you can see exactly where the center is. So that way when somebody screws their lid on, everything is nice and even and, and good to go there. So I'm just going to smooth that decal out. I'm just going to rub it side to side. And there you go. It was as easy as that. Could you put this on a glitter base? Absolutely. You want to go ahead and just lay your glitter down. Make sure that that uh, next coat of epoxy over your glitter is nice and smooth before you add all your decals. And there you go. You have a glitter base. I'm going to go ahead and get these weeded really quick. And then we'll move on to kind of accentuating our leopard lip drips here. So the whole point of this collaboration with all these amazing Tumblr artists is just to show, not only to show you guys that we can all come together and create together because we all love each other's things that we do, but also to just show you all the different ways that you can create something with basically the same decals and, and way and method. So power wash method and the lip drip decal. Every single one of us is unique and different in our own way. And so I hope you guys really pull from everybody's different collaborations and just know that there's not one set way to get something done. There's, there's always many different ways that you can do something. Whatever is right for you is how it should be. There's no right or wrong when it comes to making art. All right, so I'm gonna take my little leopard decals here and I'm gonna just kind of sporadically place them around my tumbler. I kind of want, I had an idea in my head where I wanted to do a little bit above, a little bit below, and then maybe have some on the bottom kind of coming up the back because it'll all kind of pull together once I go to do that power wash method. Now again, this is all just how you think it should look. I didn't, I knew I didn't want to do too many, so I just kind of, like I said, placed them kind of sporadically and I didn't place too many down and then I came back through and I kind of filled them in here and there just to kind of make it look a little bit better because some of them were a little bit patchy so I just filled in any spots that needed to be filled in there. Now I am going to show you guys how I kind of curved this holographic um, vinyl around the bottom here. So what I did was I just took a little bit, I didn't take too many and I just take my finger and I just very lightly and kind of warm it up, press it right around that curve and it was fine. Now there was a little piece that wouldn't come off, but that's okay. We'll work with him in a minute. <laughs> 
I'm going to go ahead and take some more of those little leopard prints and I'm just going to push it back up onto the tumbler, kind of making sure everything fills in nice and kind of forms together and looks as one. Then we're going to come back through and fill in a little bit more. I'm going to come back through to that little guy that just didn't want to come off. So he's staying there. He He's permanently on my tumbler there. So <laughs> there we go. Now he's all filled in and he's part of the group here. So there we go. So like I said, you don't want to fuss with it too much. I think that's perfect. And I'm going to kind of roll with that. Now, I did come back through a, a little bit. See, <laughs> I did add just a couple more little pieces just to kind of fill in here and there. And I even connected it on the bottom here. And like I said, if you just warm it up, uh, that vinyl on the bottom there, it'll all perfectly form to those kind of curves that happen on the bottom of those tumblers. All right, so now we are ready to move on to giving it its first coat of epoxy because we want it nice and smooth for doing that power wash method. So as you can see, I went ahead and I sprayed down my tumbler with my two times ultra clear by Rust-Oleum before I applied my epoxy. The epoxy I like to use is Alumilite's Amazing Clear Cast, but please feel free to use any type of epoxy you have on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub that in really well. Then after that, I'm gonna take my torch Hit it up really good to make sure I get rid of any of those micro bubbles. I'm going to let that cure overnight uh, for about 8 to 12 hours and then we'll be ready to move on to that Dawn Power Wash. All right, let's do that fun, fun paint job. All right, it's been 8 to 12 hours. My tumbler is nice and dry, or not dry, cured. It's not tacky whatsoever. You don't want it tacky. I have my Dawn Power Wash spray here and the paint that I'm using is Mambo Pink by Krylon. I know I use, I usually, I usually use Rust-Oleum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I had some backup pink hair just in case, but I just stuck with the Krylon there. It, it, it was fine. <laughs> now I know most of you know, you will need either a bucket of water or your hose. So I know lots of you are in cold weather, so make sure you have a bucket on hand to do this with. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my power wash spray and I'm going to fill in the lip area because I don't want to paint that. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do little blotches around that leopard print there because I don't want it all filled in. So I'm just going to do kind of blotches around all of that. Make sure I hit up the bottom, make sure I flip it over and do the same thing on the back. And then actually after I bring it up to the camera here, I'm going to take my Dawn Power Wash soap and then I'm just going to get all like the the tip of the the power wash all over it to make it have little spots all over it then i should have had my cap off <laughs> but i didn't make sure your cap's off <laughs> and ready to go then i'm just going to spray it up really good as you can see here it wasn't very thick spray paint it kind of just kind of gave like a haze of pink over it which actually in the end i really like so i didn't really want to touch it up with that extra pink that i had on hand there so I'm just going to spray it up really good all over the place. Then I'm going to bend down and take my hose and I'm going to very quickly wash off the paint. And that's exactly how you do the Dawn Power Wash method. As you can see here, it leaves all these really awesome designs on your tumbler. It makes you look super pro professional and have a very unique look to everything that you do. Now I want to do kind of a second layer to this with the, with the same spray paint. So I'm going to make sure that is completely dry before I move on to the second layer. I'm going to kind of let it drip dry first and then I kind of took just a paper towel and dried it off after that. But you want it nice and dry to do any kind of second coats. You could add a different color. You could do whatever you would like, but I wanted to add just the same color. So I'm going to go ahead and cover up those lips again. And then I'm just going to very sporadically spray the Dawn Power Wash all over the place. And then I'm just going to give it another very light coating of that pink one more time over it. Just to kind of add a little bit more dimension to that look. And I'm going to do the same thing once I'm done spraying it down. I'm going to very quickly... Once I am done, grab my water hose, rinse it off, and then I'm going to continue to let that dry because you want it completely dry before you go ahead and add more epoxy to your tumbler. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse that, kind of show it to you guys here. You can kind of see the dimensions where it, it almost looks like lace in between. I really liked how that turned out, and I hope you guys really enjoy doing this as well. 
All right, I completely dried it off. I even took it off my plunger there and I dried off my plunger as well because if you get any little drops of water into your epoxy, it could ruin your final coats here. So you don't wanna do that. <laughs> All right, so again, I'm just gonna hit it up with two more finishing coats of epoxy because I like to add at least two finishing coats to my tumblers and it is good to go. I want to thank Taylor from Duncan Custom Airbrush for reaching out and asking if I wanted to do this collaboration. I had so much fun doing it and I hope you guys enjoy everybody's collaborations that they do as well with this decal and the power wash method. This is such an easy design and I know you guys got this. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had fun watching this tutorial today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.